So we're gonna try baiting him right here. Oh my gosh! <sighs> What's up everybody? Today we're gonna be breaking down a CFM game. Now usually I like to get this live but this was kind of a spur of the moment thing and well you guys aren't gonna get a live video next one it is going to be live and just as a heads up there is a little bit of lag in this game i don't know what was causing it because literally right before this i was playing it was just perfectly fine right there should have blown it up in the backfield but because we don't have fast linebackers in this includes outside linebackers and middle linebackers it's going to be really tough to get him in the backfield just with how my run defense works I really need at least one fast middle linebacker and one fast outside linebacker. Now, this defense, it's all right. We almost freaking picked him with a fat boy. No, we almost we missed him with a fat boy. That would have been great. But th th this is kind of how my run defense works. I need at least one fast middle linebacker, one fast outside linebacker, where I can just, okay, this guy's literally throwing at my user, where I can at least set up my run defense and get him in the backfield. If I have really slow or just slow linebackers in general it's gonna be really tough for me to stop the run as you can see right there again it's just a little too slow luckily we get him back with the user but he picks up the first down again because he runs stretch all the time out of the i-form slot flex this is such a good read that is such a good read right there man i i can't lie i can't lie so this formation i learned really quickly scream at him Anytime he goes into that strong close, or not strong close, strong slot, he's going to pass. He'll audible eye form slot, flex, or whatever it's called. And he's right here. Again, stretch. What's the call? Of third and 16 for Madden 20. Stretch. Stretch. Oh, my gosh. This game is insane. You can run a third and 16. I give him that was a good, bad defense on my part. I probably I was committed to the pass a lot more than I probably should have been. But right here, you'll see kicks the ball and he misses it that's called need that's called need it let's go so anyways miami oh miami d these are my favorite playbooks for both offense and defense right there he's playing to cover two hard flats so of course we're gonna take a corner out to the top again wide receivers are slow i think my fastest wide receiver is 91 speed i really like to have just fast wide receivers all across the board 91 speeds like the bare minimum of what i like if I can get 95, 99 speeds, even better. But if I can get like somewhere around 95 and higher for one wide receiver, even it's going to be fantastic. So right here, RPO stretch. We probably should have been an illegal man downfield with how late we threw that ball. But I think because it was technically behind us, we were able to throw it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But right here, cover three. So we're going to streak our tight end, try to fit it in between the outside and inside third. Inside third plays it really well. He's a D-line user. He knew how these games go. Yeah, so he gets a sack right there. So second and goal, 13 yards to go. I think I look for it again. I'm gonna seam with my tight end, just split the inside and outside third, looking for the post. The post route, I probably, uh, oh, I get really lucky. I was trying to pass lead it to the right to get it in between the middle third and the hook curl. But because the post stopped running his route, that's kind of what screwed me over big time. So we ended up taking our three next game. We're definitely going to go for it. We're going to run the score up a little bit more. Have a little bit of fun with this CFM. You know, you know, we're going to take the Steelers all the way to the Super Bowl because the Steelers are the best team in the NFL. Let's be 100% real here. Every other team out there just sucks. It's right there. Leonard Fournette trucking his way. I think he, they might be very generous. And I think they gave him the first down. But anyways, PA post shot is what this play is called. The way you can bait this play, that first crossing route is their first read. If they notice you stick with that first crosser, they're going to go with the second crosser. So you can almost always bait them on that second crossing route ran by the middle receiver. The first one's almost always the slot, though. So right here, you guys know it's pretty simple. It's either a stretch or a dive. It's a dive. Again, you guys can see right there, because I have a slow outside linebacker, normally if I have somebody with at least 85 speed, I think that guy has like 78, maybe 80 speed. If I have somebody with 85 speed, I can almost always get them in the backfield. Yet again, what runners do when they can't run, they throw at your user all day long. My user was hot garbage. It sucked this entire game. That's a pick. That is such a bait, though. My goodness. Off the races we go. So we now got the ball back that is just that is called user skill right there so 
Gun Bunch, again, Miami has Gun Bunch, Trips Tight End, Split Close, I-Form Slot, Ace Slot. It's got a lot of really actually solid plays in it. Trying to go for the hit stick make me fumble right there. But I really, really enjoy it because there's just so many different options in this playbook. If you guys play CFM where they have rules like don't spam the same play over and over again, I really, really strongly recommend using this playbook because it's Gun Bunch isn't bad. Trip Tight End is decent. Split Close is good. And it's just got so many different formations. Laser, like that. Like that. Like that. Laser. Cover two. Easy to recognize that. Earlier he was in action in a cover three. Bagged me. Cover two. We got the dot. So again, what do you guys know? We know whenever he's in this I-form slot flex, again, getting perfect blocking. Whenever he's in this I-form slot flex, he's going to run stretch left or stretch right. When he's in this A slot, you can probably expect slants. Like double slants right here. Bam, there's a slant. Is it? My user sucks. That's all I got to say about this game. My user sucks. So, anyways, back into the single back wingsy type. Bait, bait, bait. Nope. Okay, we again, user. Oh, my goodness. This guy just is, he doesn't care. He knows my user sucks. I know my user sucks, so he's just going to throw it. But this is called goal line defense right here. Second and goal on the one. Watch. We blow the freaking dive up in the backfield for a loss of three yards. If you guys want that run defense, be sure you guys check out MeisterMan.com. It is in the description, as well as the offense that you guys are seeing being ran. If you guys like to play CFM, I'm telling you, this is probably the best offense to run for CFM without breaking the rules. Like, don't spam the same play over and over again because there's just so many different viable plays for you guys to use and definitely start implementing some of the stuff you guys are seeing in this video as you can see right here just a simple dive on a strong pro off the races gain of 15 yards for our first rush so you guys are going to notice like oh no he's going to run the ball yeah we're going to see how this guy's run defense is we're going to see how this guy's run defense is so far little stop and go little baby stop and go off to the races we go hi ho hi ho can't touch this get off me touchdown Let's go. So now we're going to be 17-3 going into half again. Remember, we get the ball. Oh, sorry. Take that back. I'm wrong. Some hum humans make mistakes. We make mistakes. I made a mistake. So right there, we're going to be going up 17-3 in the very... Meisterman.com is, is not responsible for missed field goals, nor am I going to be held accountable for any missed field goals that you do miss like that. But anyways... Let's go get this pick back. Maestro Man does not teach you to miss field goals like that. We do not teach you how to suck at Madden. Yeah. So anyways, we get the pick back, right, pick back in a heartbeat. First and 10, pretty close to the red zone. Now this single back A slot, this is going to be for free. I'm gonna be, I'm trying to get this out for you guys. It's gonna be free on my website. You guys can just go access it. It's gonna be a little mini scheme that is going to be available for whoever wants to watch it. But a little stop and go right there. I was hoping he'd click on to that DB right there. He doesn't. If I click, if he clicks on, we break his ankles because he probably ends up trying to dive. Instead, he lets the CP make tackle for him. So we're going to go and just, I, looking back at this, I kind of wish I would have put the X receiver on an out route or the B receiver on an out route, X receiver on a streak because that wheel route would have been open. And right here, we're just chucking up because you know what? Screw it. Might as well just throw it up. See if I can maybe get this cover three beater off. But anyways, you can see right there, he plays really good defense with your own double coverage because it's 920. Why not? Comes down with the pick. So here we go. Play action. His favorite play. Throw it into the triple quote. His, he just, he just teabagged four people. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a dot. What a fr Okay, and then he's juking out with LaShawn McCoy. So, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this guy is LaShawn McCoy and Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette is his star player, so you kind of know he's going to be running the ball a lot or throwing into coverage like that again. Oh, okay. I kind of know that Top Squat's going to play that, so you guys might be thinking, oh, that's a bell. It's like, uh, no, I kind of know how Top Squat's play, so I know it, it should, should play that. So, right here, he's probably going to go slant. We send the crib. My user sucks. Like, my user is so bad this game. I don't think I've ever seen it be this bad before. But right here, again, we normally would get that in the backfield. But because our, I can't emphasize this enough. Because our outside linebacker is just so slow, we can't get there quick enough. And we can't make a play on the ball carrier fast enough. So, anyways, 
Long story short, he, we ended up holding him to fourth and three. He's going to take his three points. We're still at 13 points. At this point, you guys need to start chewing clock. Don't be an idiot like me. And yeah, yeah, do this. Don't be an idiot like that. Don't be an idiot and just choose a kickoff return without seeing what they're going to choose because they very well might go for an onside kick in the third quarter like that. But right here, I'm just trying to fit that in. I know that corner I tried twice beforehand, and I know I can fit that in against a cover three. But the past two times, I tried lowballing it. I don't know. There's maybe a threshold I'm just not meeting with my quarterback. But both times, he just threw it right to the ground. There we go. Give me that ball back. Thank you very much. Off to the house we go. Nope. Okay. Our guy just decides to run past us and block absolutely no one. But all right. First and goal. We get the ball back. But anyways, I can. I know I can fit that corner out and it gets the cover three. Even that close to the goal line. Just for some reason, the low points just were not working. It's right there. Again, stuffed in the backfield for a loss of three. I mean, LaShawn Coy, five rushes for negative three yards. It's called run defense. So here we go. Passing. We're going to send the crib again. Try and bait him on the slant route. And will we drop the ball? Third and 13. Two seconds to go. Up 13 points. We're sending the crib oh, again. Again. Nothing. 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 So we're going to try baiting him right here. Oh my gosh. <sighs> what is going on with this game? So I believe we just sent six right here. Now we drop off. We play more coverage. Spy looking for the slant. Hallelujah. Finally, after dropping it, not getting an animation, we finally get the pick by whoever that is. So at this point, they allow us to run the score up. So you know what? I need to get my quarterback to be great. We actually drafted a, and I'm thinking of a different CFM I'm running right now. We got a really trash quarterback. That's a laser. Holy balls. That's a laser. So anyways, now we're up 26-6. You guys can see he's got two timers remaining. He's got nowhere to throw to whatsoever. The only thing he did have was the underneath stuff, but you know what? I don't care if he wants it underneath. He can take it. So we're just sitting in the crib at this point. I get clicked onto a linebacker right here. And again, double coverage. They swat it down, even though I hold down Y. EA Sports, it's in the game. You guys kind of see how that's how this, that's how the cookie crumbles. So gun ace, I'm kind of, I don't really see gun ace too often. You can kind of expect two post routes to come across the field. Bait, nope. My user sucks. I'm so bad at this game. Holy crap. My user was all over it. Oh, it was just so bad because I just over pursue or under pursue. It's right here. We send the kitchen sink. I pick up the bathroom faucet, rip it off the shelf, and throw it on that quarterback's head. Yes, we pick up the sink. It is a porcelain sink with diamonds in it. So this thing is not to be messed around with. So I end up cutting out a lot of stuff because he just want to run past. It really nothing else to it. But you guys can see the score is going to end up being 29 to nope. Okay. 29 to 30 oh, sorry 29 to 12 he ends up going trying to go for two and well it just yeah it ain't gonna work out too well in his favor right here when he throws it into coverage yet again so right there bam throws it at the vertical hook easy pick and that's going to seal the game now of course he's gonna go onside and try to get more points but you know we come out onside i don't be an idiot this time i actually wait for him to choose a play big tip right there yeah that, that would have been a uh, illegal touching anyway so that's going to take care of the game. GG's to my opponent. We're going to be starting the uh, regular season here soon. I'm hoping we can get against a good opponent. I suck at this game. I, that's all I'm going to tell you right now. I suck at this game. But hopefully as the season progresses, we can go against a good opponent. This guy, yeah, you can tell he's not like super good at the game. But I'm hoping we can get in some better games later on. Because I don't like playing regs that much anymore. And I don't really like my, I just don't like playing the game very much at all because regs people glitch you with the offside kick glitch But I have a trash team. So it's hard to compete <laughs> So anyways, that's gonna take care of the game. You guys can see the stats right here Check out maestroman.com for the offensive defense I was running until next time See ya sports